Welcome to the Antique Music Mall. This is show number 85 and I am your host, Brooke Palmer. And if you are new to our podcast, you certainly hit it right. This is a terrific show. We play mostly antique songs. An antique car is at least 45 years old, and we adhere to that definition for our songs, however, we do take some poetic license at times, as determined by the subject of our show. For this podcast, All our featured songs are at least 45 years old, and most are decidedly older than that. We always play five songs before we reveal to our listeners what the songs have in common. It is your undertaking, to figure that out without cheating by doing a strictly verboten web search. We will tell you the answer in time, so exercise some restraint. Every song we play in this challenge, was a top 100 pop hit. Your task is to determine when the featured song was first introduced to the world. Keep in mind, most of these songs will be cover versions. We are asking you to ascertain when the song itself was released, not the recording we play, which will be a cover version for the first eight songs. So let's begin. My Foolish Heart is a popular song and jazz standard, first released in our mystery year. Here in the UK, This song reached number one based on sales of sheet music, staying at the top spot for 11 weeks. The music was composed by Victor Young, and the lyric was written by Ned Washington. The song was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Song in this unnamed year but did not take Oscar home. The Dimensions charted with an orchestral sophisticated doo-wop version of this song in 1963, featuring the blended harmonies of Lenny Dell, Phil Del Giudice, Howie Margolin, and Marissa Martelli, in a unique arrangement, with an added introductory stanza. The scene is set for dreaming, love's knocking at my door, but all my heart I'm reluctant. To stop, for we've been fooled before. The night is like a lovely
including Christmas and seasonal entries, My Foolish Heart was the most covered song of any that was released in our puzzling year. And this next one, was second most. Hank Williams first recorded it at the E.T. Herzog Recording Studios in Cincinnati, with Jerry Bird on steel guitar, Zeke Turner on electric guitar, Tommy Jackson on fiddle, Louis Innes on rhythm guitar, and Ernie Newton on bass. There are no drums on the original version of this song. It is a country music standard, with many artists having recorded this song over the years in a variety of styles. B.J. Thomas had the biggest pop hit with his 1966 version, which made number 8 in the U.S. Charting entries include those released by Johnny Tillotson and football player Terry Bradshaw. Other artists to record the song include Johnny Cash, Ray Charles, Dean Martin, Al Green, Freddie Fender, Bob Dylan, Little Richard, Cowboy Junkies, and Elvis Presley. We'll be playing the only top 10 pop version of this song by B.J. Thomas from 1966. But in what year do you think this song was written, recorded, and first released? Did you hear that lonesome whipper will? It sounds too blue to fly. The midnight train is winding low, and I'm so lonely. A night so long When time goes crawling by The moon just went behind a cloud And I'm so Another very well-known song that was first released in our enigmatic year was Mona Lisa. Most people think of Nat King Cole with this song, as well they should. Mona Lisa is a popular song written by Ray Evans and Jay Livingston for the Paramount Pictures film Captain Carey USA in which it was performed by Sergio De Carlo and a recurrent accordion theme. The title and lyrics refer to the portrait of Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. The song won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. 
and you can find various versions of this song on the pop, R&B, country, and adult contemporary charts. We are featuring a cover of Mona Lisa that made both the pop chart and the rhythm and blues chart, even though, the singer is performing a rockabilly version of this hit song. If you ask me, but who's asking, it plays best as a ballad. This will be Karl Mann's version from 1959. Karl Mann was referred to as the last son of Sun because he was one of the final recording artists by Sam Phillips of Sun Records. Well, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, man, I've named you. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it only, or is it lonely, we have a name you? For that Mona Lisa, strangeness in your smile. Well, do you smile to tell the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this a way to hide a broken heart? Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? You're stuck whole and lonely, lovely world of art. A girl whose beauty is dangerous Many dreams have been brought to her They all come now But what does she want nobody know Well, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa Man, I'll name you You're so like the lady with a mystic smile Is it only a little lonely have a name you for that Mona Lisa strangeness in your smile. Now, where do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this the way to hide a broken heart? Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold and lonely, lovely work of art? Just a cold and lonely, lovely work of art. Just a cold and lonely, lovely work of art. Release Me is a popular song written by Eddie Piano Miller and Robert Yant that was first released in our unidentified year. The most successful heartfelt rendering of this song was by Engelbert Humperdinck from 1967. This was his first charting hit in the United States reaching number four on the Hot 100. But it was here, in the United Kingdom, that Mr. Humperdinck's version of this song was first introduced. It holds the record for the longest stay in the UK charts for 56 consecutive weeks, six of those weeks at number one. It even returned to the UK singles chart in 2004. But the Antique Music Mall will play here a much less known cover of Release Me. In late 1968, this version of Release Me also made the Hot 100. It had first been released in 1965 on the Watch Record label, but the re-release did much better. I'm thinking that this next version may have benefited from Engelbert's popular release the previous year. Next we play Johnny Adams' version of Release Me. This was also a top 40 hit on the Rhythm and Blues chart. me Oh, let me go Oh, yes You see, I
if you don't want me Oh, baby, why don't you just let me love again Oh, let me love again I, I said I found a new love day Oh, let me tell you about it right now I'll always Said I'll always I'll always want that girl right near Oh, let me tell you how sweet she is, oh yeah What's the matter, baby? But girl, girl, release me If you don't want me If you're just trying to use me Why don't you just, why don't you just Why don't you just let me go? Maybe to hear what I say at that time, baby I want to say it one more time This will be the last song you will hear before we divulge the year that all these songs were introduced to the world. Raise your hand if you already know. Not too bad. Also, all the songs in this podcast were top 100 hits on the pop chart according to Billboard. In addition, all the songs we play in this show were among the 20 most covered songs that were first released in this soon-to-be-revealed year. This fifth song was written by Lee Hayes and Pete Seeger, and first released as, The Hammer Song. This title would later morph into, If I Had a Hammer. This song had appeared on the pop chart, the country chart, and the R&B chart. We play next, the highest charting pop version of this song by Trini Lopez. It's a Latin-colored interpretation, recorded in front of an audience at PJ's nightclub in Hollywood, and reached number three in the Hot 100. Peter Paul and Mary's version of The Hammer Song, changed both the lyrics, and the melody, somewhat, to fit the times. The songwriters of this song supported left-wing causes. The hammer in this song is a metaphor for power, and a call to use that power to promote love and fight injustice. It's a song that has endured through changing times because the message is constant.
1949 was three quarters of a century ago, and yet, the music from that year, continues to live on. All the songs we are playing in this podcast are among the 20 most covered new releases from 1949, excluding three new holiday songs. This next one is a favorite of ours. Thematic Nostalgia, our sister podcast, has twice featured this next song. Once by Ezio Pinza, who, in the original Broadway production of South Pacific, debuted some enchanted evening. He was a former Metropolitan Opera star. Mr. Pinza won the Tony Award for Best Actor in 1950 for this role. The other was by Perry Como, who charted the only number one popular version of this song, and there were nine charting versions in all, over the quarter century following this song's first release. In keeping with our mission to present brand new oldies, we next showcase the last, and lowest charting pop version of this song, from 1977. We present Jane Oliver, born Linda Cohen from Brooklyn. Her stage fright, anxiety over her newfound acclaim, and her husband's illness and death, caused her to take a ten-year hiatus in the early 80s. This is Some Enchanted Evening, sung by Jane Oliver. I Love You Because, is a song written and first released by country music singer-songwriter Leon Payne, in 1949. 
the song has been covered by several artists throughout the years. In 1963, Al Martino recorded the most successful version of this song, which peaked at number three on the Hot 100. Jasper Cini, known professionally as Al Martino, was wounded in the invasion of Iwo Jima while serving in the United States Navy during World War II. His career lasted over 60 years, mostly as a singer, but you may remember his role as singer Johnny Fontaine in The Godfather. I love you because you understand it. Every single thing I try to do You're always there to lend a helping hand I love you most of all because you're you No matter what the world may say about me I know your love will always see me through I love you for the way you never doubt me But most of all I love you outside, though not technically a Christmas song, is usually played in the Yuletide season. The song was written in 1944 by Frank Lesser, but not published until 1949. It was popularized in the 1949 film, Neptune's Daughter. In that movie, Ricardo Montalban and Esther Williams sang this song in the movie and earned Frank Lesser an Oscar for Best Original Song. This song is the fourth most covered song of any released that year. There have been at least 500 versions of this song recorded. Dean Martin's version is still going strong. In fact, during the first week of January 2020, his version of this song was back in the Hot 100. Maybe It's Cold Outside was a track on Mr. Martin's 1959 album entitled, A Winter Romance. However, he also recorded Baby It's Cold Outside in 1949 with Marilyn Maxwell. This song is not without controversy, as the lyrics are sometimes altered, and innuendo is not always welcome in the Me Too era. I really can't but stay. baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go but away. baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been, been hoping that you drop so in. I'll hold your hands, they're just like My ice My mother will start to Beautiful, worry. what's your My father will be pacing the floor Listen to the fireplace so roar So really I'd better Beautiful, scurry. please don't well, hurry just a half 
Put some records on while I pour Baby, it's bad out there Say what's in this No dream? cabs to be had out there I wish I knew Your how eyes are like starlight now I'll take your hat, your hair looks swell I say no, no, Mind if I move in closer At least I'm gonna say that I try What's the sense of hurting my pride? Really can't stay. Oh, baby, don't hold out Baby, it's cold outside Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. But baby, it's cold outside. The welcome has How been lucky that you so dropped nice in. And warm. Look out the window at the stone. My sister will be Gosh, your lips look my delicious. Will be there at the door. Waves upon the tropical shore. My mind is Gosh, your lips are delicious. Never such a blizzard before Gotta get home. But baby, you'd freeze out there Say, lend me a coat It's up to your knees out there You've really been I grand. thrill when you touch my but hand don't you see? How can you do this thing to me? Bound to be to Think hard. of my lifelong At song least there will be plenty If you caught pneumonia and I, I really can't Get stay. over that old doubt Baby, it's cold Baby, it's cold outside. The remaining four songs featured in this podcast are all top 20 hits from our celebrated year of 1949. This was mostly a year of peace in the United States and Europe. World War II had ended four years earlier, but 1950 was looming with the Korean War in that year's future. This next song was extremely popular in 1949, and was still covered as recently as last year. Excluding seasonal songs, it is the sixth most covered song first released in 1949, to date. But today this song is basically unknown, except to jazz enthusiasts. There was only one charting version of this song, and we play that next. It was by Sarah Vaughan, from Newark, New Jersey, nicknamed the Divine One or Sassy. She studied piano from most of the 1930s. In 1989, the year before she died, she was awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and National Endowment of the Arts Jazz Masters Award. This will be Black Coffee. slept a wink I walk the floor and watch the door and in between I drink black coffee loves a hand-me-down broom I'll never know a Sunday in this week to the shadows one o'clock to four and lord how slow the moments go when all i do is pour black coffee since the blues caught my eye Sunday dreams to dry. Now a man is born to go loving. A woman's born to weep and fret and stay.
I'm moaning all the morning and morning all the night and in between it's nicotine and not much hard to find It's driving me crazy this waiting for my baby to maybe come around In this year of 1949, the Broadway musical South Pacific was enormous, running for 1,925 performances. There were four songs from this musical that were among the top 20 most covered songs of any released this year, excluding holiday songs. We already played some Enchanted Evening. Two others, which we do not feature in this podcast are, This Nearly Was Mine, and Younger Than Springtime. But we play next the second most covered song from South Pacific ever to make the pop chart. In fact, five versions of this song made Billboard's top 20 popular rankings, all during 1949. Bloody Mary, played by Juanita Hall, performed the first onstage interpretation of this song. The title of this song refers to a mystical island, visible on the horizon but not reachable. It was inspired by the site of Ambe Island in the South Pacific, where author James Michener was stationed in World War II. Mr. Michener's book, Tales of the South Pacific, was the basis for this musical. Despite the fact that Perry Como had the highest charting version of this song, we play here the very first recording of this song made February 29, 1949, by Frank Sinatra. This version also made the pop chart. This is Bally High. Bali High may call you any night, any day. In your heart, you will hear it call you. Come away, come away, Bali High. the wind of the sea Here am I your special island Come to me Come to me Your own special hopes Your own special dreams On the hillside and shine in the streams If you try, you'll find me Where the sky meets the sea Here am I, your special island Come to me Come to me Someday you'll see me Floating in the sunshine My head sticking out From a low flying cloud You'll hear me call you Singing through the 
sunshine Sweet and clear as can be Bali Our last two featured songs were both number one hits. This next song first appeared in the 1949 film Noir, written by Graham Greene. It was set in post-World War II Allied-occupied Vienna. Anton Karas was an Austrian zither player and composer, best known for his internationally famous soundtrack for this movie. The success of the film, and the enduring popularity of its theme song, changed Mr. Karas' life. This recording was first released in October 1949, but it took off with the film's popularity. By 1950, the Third Man theme, sometimes entitled the Harry Lyme theme, reached number one on the popular charts. And then, Guy Lombardo's recording of this composition, took over the number one spot. Walter Lord, added lyrics to this melody in 1950, and this also became a vocal hit. All totaled, in 1950, six versions of this tune, made the popular charts. We play here, Anton Karas's original version. Joel Whitman describes Austrian zither player, Anton Karas, as the most remarkable of all one-hit wonder recording artists. We have reached our last song for this podcast. It was a number one song by Frankie Lane in 1949, our featured year, for eight weeks. For those of you too young to remember, he was an American singer and songwriter whose career spanned nearly 75 years, from his first concerts in 1930 with a marathon dance company to his final performance in 2005. Often billed as America's number one song stylist, his other nicknames include Mr. Rhythm, Old Leather Lungs, and Mr. Steel Tonsils. The featured song has visited the pop chart eight times by eight recording artists. It's called That Lucky Old Son. I have earnestly enjoyed my time with you today. If you have not yet subscribed to the Antique Music Mall, you should. You missed many old shows and many more planned for the future. I have been your host, Brooke Palmer. Until next time, cheerio. A 
job in the morning Out on the job Work like the devil for my pay But that lucky old son Got nothing to do But roll around heaven all day Fuss with my woman Toil for my kids Sweat till I'm wrinkled and gray While that lucky old son Got nothing to do But roll around heaven all day You know I'm pining Tears all in my eyes Send down that cloud With a silver line Lift me to paradise Show me that river Take me across Wash all my Troubles away Like that lucky old son Give me nothing to do But roll around Heaven all day Send on that cloud with a silver lining Lift me to paradise Show me that river Take me across Wash all my troubles away Like that lucky old son Give me nothing to